somewhere above the city lights you're falling in love hey it's jackie and welcome back to my channel for today's tutorial i thought we'd celebrate the met gala 2018 and i'm showing you guys my favorite hairstyle of the night it was worn by golden barbie on instagram just a very heavenly braid and this morning i ran to michael's got all the supplies i needed as well as tried to diy a similar dress from forever 21 but yeah, I thought it's really fun because it's basically just accessorizing and hair placement. So it's not too hard to do, but the end result is really stunning. So hopefully you guys like the look I picked out from the night and make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more beauty tutorials. And please let me know in the comments who is your favorite whole style of the night because there was a lot of great ones and I will have a little countdown at the end of this video as well to show you guys my faves. But anyways, let's get started with the hairstyle. Okay, so starting off, I've applied two three-clip wefts of Bellamy hair extensions. These ones are my old pair, and they are darker but give me the length we need, so I will have them linked down below, and also create a center part. Pick up the top layer of hair and add a bit of a teasing spray like Osis Plus for a bit of volume so the hair doesn't lay flat. And if you need to, you can also add in some extensions here. I needed some more volume and the back is definitely big and voluminous, so we need a bit of balance when you're looking straight on. Moving to the back, smooth out a section on the crown, adding a bit of teasing to make sure the part doesn't trail off and smooth the hair back, gathering the section using two or three bobby pins to keep this hair laying flat, and this will help guide the look. First craft supply we are using is this cord from Michaels. I will have everything linked down below or the company name, so check the description bar for all the exact details, especially for all the craft stuff. But for adding in all these accessories, we want to first cut out a long section and then with a clear elastic, string it through so that you can apply the elastic to a small section of hair and then easily wrap the cording around that section. As you can see, I am wrapping around the hair right beside the hair that we first laid flat, and then I'm going to cross this over the bobby pins and secure in place with one more bobby pin. On the other side, I just picked up a small amount of hair, twisted it, and pinned it as well. So that's the top layer, super easy, and now with flowers that I also picked up from Michaels, I'm going to add some of the top detailing. You can wait until the end to apply the flowers, but for me it was helpful to see how they laid first, and while this look is super glamorous, I am using a wire cutter from my dad's toolbox to cut the stems. And I do find these flowers stay put quite well, especially in looks when the hair is very crisscrossed and there's a lot of bobby pins anyway, but you do want some of that stem, and if you use scissors, you will dent the scissors, so always use wire cutters. And now onto the next layer. This time, we are taking three small sections below the first layer of detailing and just twisting and pinning. This way, we can kind of cheat the look of a braid starting higher up in the hair uh, when we aren't braiding yet. And then with some of that flowing cord, I did wrap it around the twist to highlight the detail. This looks really pretty at the back. I love it. And now working on the front side section. Pick up about an inch of hair from the very front and then a section directly behind it and create a twisting motion backwards and then with both strands, connect them with a clear elastic. Adding in some cord again, bringing it through the elastic, and then twisting around the hair in kind of an irregular fashion, and like we did before, just lay this to the other side. A lot of this style is just twisting, adding in the cord or ribbon, and then laying the hair to the other side. Moving on to the front of the other side, you can do the exact same steps, but I decided to add in more cording to the look. So I sectioned off two pieces, and then wrapped each of them with their own cord, and I left these out to add into the style later. And it's time for layer three. So this time using an elastic, I sectioned out a middle portion from the free flowing hair, sectioned out a similar sized piece from the right, and then I just took one of the ribbon pieces from the left. And normally braid these pieces together with a couple wefts and secure with a mini elastic. 
The next steps are decorating the rest of the hair so that when we braid together, you're gonna see detailing throughout. I found these little pearls on a string in the ribbon section of Michael's, and again, using a clear elastic, I've strung the pearls through, and I added to a section of hair, and then I wrapped this around. And even though this looks like a really pretty swirl, in the braid, it does get lost. So I would even do it tighter than I did here, and I'm repeating this on the other side and securing with an elastic at the bottom. So now that we have a couple of detailed pieces, let's continue this. So this time I'm using a tiny gold ribbon and I'm wrapping this around the entire length of the hair so you don't actually see any hair this time. We want this to definitely stand out in the style. I thought it was a really pretty part of Jasmine's look. And of course I did the same thing where the ribbon's in half around the elastic. So I'm wrapping both, both sides around the hair. And using the original cord again, I chose to go with pink and light purple because I thought it would show up better on my hair color rather than the deep burgundy that popped against Jasmine's hair. So I think that's a step to think about as well. If your hair is dark, maybe go lighter and this way the detail will stand out and if your hair is light, going dark looks awesome. So here's what we have, all these pretty details, and now we are going to create a French braid for just a couple wefts until all of the pieces are included. So pick up three sections and create one stitch of braid. And in the next stitch, add a new detailed section until you don't have any left, and then just continue braiding the rest of the hair. Tie off with an elastic and start to tweak the braids so that you see the details. And in Jasmine's braid, you actually did see more of the spirals around the hair. So again, twist more tightly and hopefully you'll get a exact look. But I think this did turn out pretty similar. Just doing more touch-ups. And this next step, I think, really ties the whole ponytail together. So now I'm using a bronze chain and I'm wrapping this around the last portion of the braid. Wrap all the way to the end and make sure that this is a standout part of the look. And I just love how the shade is similar to the dress and really polishes off the style. And time to decorate with more flowers. So I have a mix of roses and little pink flowers and I'm bringing this throughout the braid using her detailing as a guide. Kind of doing my own thing. I love popping in flowers. I've done so many looks with Michael's flowers now. And I had a little aquamarine moment here and I DIY'd this Forever 21 dress by tucking in the original triangle shape into a strapless bra. And then I'm adding some draping, creating arm loops and a sash around the waist. And this look is totally fit for a princess. Finally, to add more gold into the roses, I noticed some of the top petals in the original style were like drenched in gold and it looked so expensive and just beautiful. So I took this blonde temporary highlight spray. It's basically like a gold glitter. And I spread that directly onto the middle rose and it gave definitely more an antique look to the whole vibe. So I loved adding that step in. And if you like this style, but you're looking for something without as much um, like flowers and detailing, you should check out my Romeo and Juliet inspired hairstyles that I did last year inspired by Haley Steinfeld because uh, there's three really pretty fairy tale styles and I think you might like them. In Watching. I hope you guys enjoyed my Met Gala 2018 tutorial and if you did make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for more beauty videos. If you haven't seen my last year's Met Gala tutorials I will have them linked down below. My personal favorite is still Taylor Hill's look. She had these gorgeous cranberry eyes so be sure to check it out and here's a countdown of my fave looks. Cue heavenly music for these heavenly bodies and here are my favorite dresses for the night. Amanda, Selena, and Ariana. These are all dresses that I personally just would have died to wear.
These are my favorite hair looks, both tousled blonde styles and then Lily Collins never disappoints with an on theme look. She can pull off any, any look, but she just does high fashion so well. And finally, I love these two looks, a little bit more subtle for beauty, but you could definitely take formal inspiration from them. And then on the more bold makeup side, we have Selena and Kim K. They look stunning and my top makeup pick is actually Gigi. I loved the subtle sparkles under her eyes, so let me know who's on your list. Thank you.